648 right now. Local 2 investigates showed you how the Harris County Jail and courts are clogged with people suffering from mental illness. A lack of money and hospital bed space contributes to those with mental illness cycling through the system over and over again. This morning, investigative reporter Robert Arnold shows us how one group may have found a solution to this problem while at the same time saving taxpayers millions of dollars every year. Just this last time, I said, man, you know what? I surrender. I can't do this on my own. For 17 years, Sonia Heller's been in and out of jail and prison, suffering from bipolar disorder, depression, and alcoholism. I don't want to keep getting locked up for the rest of my life, and I don't want to sleep under the bridge. Heller got out of jail last October. Since then, she's got a place to live, a job, is off drugs, and getting regular treatment for her mental illness. I've tried to do it uh, 10 or 12 times without a program, and each time I... I'd fall. What changed for Heller this time was a jail in reach program from Health Care for the Homeless Houston. I would not survive being on the streets and being mentally ill. Dr. David Buck says the program targets critical flaws in the way homeless, mentally ill jail inmates are released. Instead of being released from jail at midnight to wander the streets alone, those in the program are met outside the jail by an advocate at 8 a.m. The advocate immediately helps the person get prescriptions filled, signs them up for mental health services, and tries to find them a home. Without this type of a program, they end up uh, going, you know, going through garbage cans. They end up doing minor petty crimes, breaking air, and just to survive. Next thing you know, they're in jail. We're really not helping them in the long run. And and you could make the argument that in a sense we're torturing them. Buck's program has only been running for a year, but led to a 35% decrease in the rearrest rate of the mentally ill homeless inmates who participated. Buck says expanding the program could save taxpayers $7 million a year in jail fees. But despite this success, Buck's program is struggling to find the funds to keep going. Robert Arnold, KPRC Local 2. Now, Harris County is also running a similar program with mentally ill probationers called New Starts. Tonight at 10 o'clock, Robert continues his investigation into why state law itself freezes thousands of people out of the mental health care, the mental health care that they desperately need. Now, if you have a story for Local 2 Investigates, call the tip line 713-223-TIPS or send an email to Local2Investigates at click2houston.com.